Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 26th, 2021. Well, yesterday we had those bulls really popping and hopping first thing in the morning, trying to push the market up. And then we got news out of Washington, D.C. as the Attorney General filed an antitrust lawsuit against Amazon, and things just kind of died on the vine. We just, blah, everything just stopped. Got really quiet and then toward the end of the day we saw a little bit of selling. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again everyone. I hope you're having a great morning and getting all geared up for this market. Let's take a look at these indexes, see if we can get some information on how we might want to approach the market for today. Try to avoid all the hope and drama or hype and drama that um, you typically find in um, these kind of <laughs> pre-market uh, videos. Let's take a look at uh, the Dow here. Now yesterday the Dow, if you guys remember, I had mentioned that we were pushing up toward that resistance level in the chart and right there we popped up there again we hit that level and then we ended up pulling back. Now we, we left yesterday with a bearish engulfing candle on the diamonds chart. Now, I don't know that that's a real problem because we've broken this downtrend and we, I had mentioned how that we had rallied, you know, nearly a thousand points in the Dow in just four days. Probably not a bad thing to just get a little bit of a rest, a little bit of a pullback in the market. Now this morning we're trying once again, the bulls are trying to inspire the market higher. It seems like every single morning is just a pump up in the pre-market. And they're pumping this morning trying to get something going, but they have pulled back just slightly from overnight highs. So kind of keep that in mind. Is it entirely possible that we could just slip into a bit of a consolidation and rest? Now, one thing you want to consider is that with a, a three day weekend just around the corner, once we kind of get through those big data points tomorrow, we'll look at the economic calendar in just a minute. Once we get through those big data points tomorrow morning, it is entirely possible that volumes could really start to drop out and we could see the market get a little bit stale and quiet as traders just decide to head out and take advantage of um, some vacation time um, and extend that three day weekend. So just kind of keep in mind, we could start to see those volumes begin to slip. And yesterday I, I got to thinking, I wonder if that's what's starting really early on Tuesday because we just kind of died on the vine yesterday um, after that Amazon news came out. So keep a close eye on this. Um, we'll want to watch pretty closely um, in the market. Now, we do have some price support here in the diamonds. If we were to pull back, I think we're going to be fine as long as we hold that price support level. Um, there will be some concerns come into play if we slip below that, however, so watch that carefully. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now the SPY is the strongest right now of the indexes in this rally back. It, was, it has been really, really strong and you saw that we broke through this resistance level in the chart, which is kind of surprising almost to me because this was such a strong resistance level, but we sliced right through it as if it wasn't even there. And then yesterday got a little bit of rest. Now we fell, came short, fell short of turning in a bearish engulfing candle, but a little bit of a dark cloud cover maybe coming in on that chart. However, I have to say trends are still bullish in the SPY and that possibility that we could just push right on through. We're not that far away from a record high um, in the SPY and I would tell you that once we start getting this close to that occurring, you can really see institutions pull out just about everything that they possibly can to push that up. They want that new record. If they can get that new record high, it, it attracts more money 
um, to the market. So kind of keep an eye on that. It seems like getting this close, it would almost be surprising if they don't make that push to try and catch that new record. So watch that carefully. Now remember, as long as we hold up here above this support level, I think we're in pretty good shape. However, if we were to slip below that, there would be some additional questions coming into play. Although our trend is still up, there would be some additional worry if we slip below that level. So watch that carefully. Then let's take a look at the Qs, QQQ. This is where we start running into a little bit more complication. I apologize for all these lines on here. Let me remove all of that. Let's just really focus in on this naked chart here for just a second. If we take a look, we have a fairly significant level of price resistance up here. Um, and that price resistance uh, could be relatively strong. And adding in that antitrust lawsuit yesterday probably didn't help at all. Let's notice that that also kind of compares with this level right over here. So we have a pretty strong level here in the chart that we're trying to push on up and push through. Now the good news is that we broke above our back above our 50 day moving average. So breaking back above the 50 day moving average is very, very positive. But um, now the question is when we challenge these price resistance levels, if we get some kind of a bearish response, up here, um, then we'll want to watch for that possibility that we pull back and test some support levels in that 50 day moving average. So watch that closely. Um, will we be able to push right on through this resistance level? Sure. I mean, we've saw, we've proven in this market that we can ignore pretty much about anything and push the market higher. Um, so is it possible we just uh, slide right on through there? Absolutely. Keep a close eye on these levels. However, and if we do pull back, just realize that fear could kind of creep in a bit um, on that. Now, I would think that after such a big rally up, that a little bit of rest or consolidation would not be out of the question. So don't be too surprised if we get just a little bit of rest there, um, just a little bit of consolidation to try and build enough energy to pop through. Um, those charts. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM suffered the biggest technical damage yesterday in that it tried once again to break through that 50 day moving average and then has proved to not hold. And we're building quite a little bit of evidence as we have tried multiple times to break through and just haven't been able to hold that 50 day moving average. Um, as we try to break through and push through this really significant topping type pattern here in IWM. So let's keep an eye on this. You can see the futures are trying to push this back up a little bit, but IWM is certainly not looking um, overly healthy here. Now, I will admit that we do have this uptrend right in here in play as, long, as well as this downtrend. So we are still wedging in this pattern. We have this little um, um, symmetrical triangle that we're working on. But just keep in mind there's about a 50% chance on a symmetrical triangle that we either break the top side or break the bottom. So we've got a lot of work here to do and um, IWM could be of uh, major interest if it starts to pull back. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX a doggone thing, we slipped down, we slipped down and we broke this level of price support in the chart, broke down below, and we came back down here and we tested this downtrend as support. And notice we um, responded a little bit bullishly yesterday, pushing back up just a little bit in that VIX. Now, the good news is, is we're still below this uh, pretty significant level of price support. Um, we don't want to see this extending back up. If this extends back up and cracks back above that 20 handle there on the VIX with a little bit of fear, that could be a problem for us. What we want to see is we want to see that to continue to, to diminish lower. Now we can certainly move up, hit that resistance level and continue to push back. So watch the VIX closely. This could be kind of a indication that fear could creep in or maybe that that fear finally starts to subside and pull back and we can shake off some of this wild price volatility that we've seen here recently. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now the T2122 indicator 
had a pretty substantial pullback in it um, yesterday as we pulled back pretty strongly. Um, so let's keep a close eye on that. Now what that means is, is that we're reaching that area where we have a pretty good um, open space to the downside if the bears continue to push to the downside. However, we see that this morning the futures are trying to push us back up. So if we push up, we have, if we can find that inspiration, we have plenty of upside room here now to move to the upside. If we can find that inspiration, keep a close eye on that as we battle around here at these resistance levels in the chart. And then if we take a look at T2101, now, man, oh man, T2101 just continues to get weaker and weaker and weaker. The market breadth um, is just not where it should be. It, it, as we continue to try to press new highs, you would think we would see more activity in this market breadth indicator. So a little bit of a concern going on here in this. Perhaps today, tomorrow, we can find that inspiration and um, pop this up a little bit. But that market breadth continues to show weakness here. And we continue in this big, long downtrend here on market breadth. So not a good sign overall for the market, in my opinion. And something that, that just keeps me, um, a, keeps that uncertainty um, swirling around in my head and to be a little bit careful on how I trade this market. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar does have one thing today that we want to pay attention to. Um, we have that petroleum status number that will be out at 1030 a.m. today. Keep in mind that we have, um, you know, the Fed speakers continuing to go on, trying to calm the nerves of the market. Don't worry about inflation. There's nothing to see here um, kind of comments. But um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, on this number because that could be really, um, really adding to the problems of IWM or helping IWM significantly. Remember, petroleum is a big portion of the um, IWM. If we can, if supplies happen to come in negative, showing a big decline in supplies, that could help bolster those energy prices and continue to push them higher, that will help IWM. If that were to come in with a surprise build in supplies, it could have the opposite effect. So watch that closely. That could be critical to IWM today. Watch that close. Then remember tomorrow, um, plan this carefully heading into tomorrow. We've got durable goods and GDP and jobless claims tomorrow. So we've got a pretty darn big day of big data reports coming out. Those could certainly move the market substantially tomorrow morning. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, we have over 30 companies reporting today. There are several of those that are unconfirmed reports, but of those we have some notables that we should be paying attention to. Now if you want the full list of notables, make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That will take you back to the morning blog and you'll be able to grab um, the full list of those to watch for. Remember, as I said yesterday, we had um, INTU Intuit that was reporting after the bell. And I said that would be probably our biggest tech yesterday to pay attention to. They came out of that looking pretty good, trying to push up this morning. Today, it's gonna be Nvidia. We have NVIDIA after the bell today. And remember, NVIDIA is planning a four, uh, four for one split. So we'll want to keep an eye on this one as it reports this afternoon. That could be one of those market movers for Thursday morning. Watch that closely. We're also going to hear from quite a bit of retail today. We have Abercrombie. They'll be reporting. Now, some of these little retailers have been in a beautiful upside trend, but they're starting to falter here just a little bit. You can see on its earnings reports, it's trying to move up a little bit, but we're still challenged by this price resistance in the chart. So keep an eye on that. Um, not only ANF, but we also have AEO um, reporting today. 
Um, this one as well has been in a beautiful upside trend, but once again, starting to struggle just a little bit in that chart. Um, a little more to retail, we have a Dick Sporting Goods reporting today. They are doing a pretty good job this morning trying to pop on through. This has been in a, a kind of a choppy wide range consolidation, but it looks like that earnings report could push it through to new highs. So keep an eye on Dick's uh, Sporting Goods today. You might wanna take a look at W Day. WDay is one of those stocks that, whoops, that's WDC. WDay, we'll want to keep an eye on that. This has been um, running in this downtrend, trying to rally up. That could be an, an important report to see if we can finally break that downtrend here in WDay. So there's a few stocks to pay attention to. Please keep in mind there are several more. So if you want to catch that full list of notables, go back to the morning blog. Uh, by clicking that link below the title of the video. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel that the video is worthy, please do me a favor, click that thumbs up button and um, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to grow probably more than anything else if you um, it's it's that activity that response back that makes the algorithm show this video to more folks so if you want to help out in um, in that area just make sure you leave a brief comment and it, it can be just an emoji for a comment and that works so um, thank you very much for those who take the time to do that um, I also want to shout out once again to those folks that are utilizing the buy me a coffee um, uh, link and supporting the channel that way thank you so much everyone I, seriously you guys humble me every day with your kind words and, and support I, I, I am truly grateful thank you very much Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up and remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Um, you should make sure that you do your own due diligence, understand the risk of every trade and make sure you're following your trading plan and your risk tolerance rules. Let's take a look at a couple of these charts. Now I put an alert here on plug power. Um, we know that um, this administration is uh, really into the green energies and things like that. And Plug Power is one of those that um, starting to respond back just a little bit. It's been in an ugly downtrend. But at the same time, while I've got this nice little bullish pattern where we broke the downtrend, we're holding support, we're showing buyers stepping up in here, I also have to make mention that we have the death cross showing here on the chart, the 50 crossing down below the 200. So there may be some work that needs to be done before this really turns into a good trade and we may have to push on through that, um, that level up there. So watch that carefully um, in the chart. Plug power, nice pattern setup, but may still have some challenges above to watch carefully. Other places I think you guys might want to take a look. Take a look at silver. Oh my goodness. Um, I've been benefiting greatly from silver, so please understand that I probably have a bias on this uh, chart. But silver made a nice bounce up yesterday, just right where we would expect it to be, right in there on that trend, holding up well. Watch this for that possibility. It could push on through to the upside. Could be a pretty darn good chart. And now if this breaks through this resistance level up here, we're gonna be in pretty good shape. But watch that resistance level. That could also be a place where we could stall or even pull back. Um, anything in the silver miners area looking pretty good as well. Take a look at gold. Gold surging. I wish I owned some gold. Gold pushing up through this resistance in the chart. Now we are a little bit extended in the short term. I would not rule out the possibility of a rest or pullback coming here relatively soon and gold keep in mind that as we continue to push up though we have resistance levels up here that um, could challenge it 
but there's no reason to believe why it just can't continue to push up right into this level. So gold showing lots and lots of strength. And you might want to look at some of the gold miners, um, KGC. KGC, that is a beautiful little pattern setting up here. And you can see bulls are pushing into that this morning. KGC, AUY. AUY, another nice pattern showing up. So a lot of gold and silver stocks looking pretty darn good. And it would be worth keeping a close eye on those uh, charts. Few other charts to be to make mention of. Take a look at some of these um, kind of boring old um, dividend paying consumer defensive sector stocks. Take a look at Philip Morris. Philip Morris has been in this beautiful upside trend and we have this nice little consolidation in here in that in that trend and you can see I've placed a price alert up here and what I'm just looking for in this chart is I'm looking to see if those bulls can push on through and continue to extend that trend to the upside. Keep a close eye on that. Um, Philip Morris starting to look uh, pretty bullish here. Another chart that you should be paying attention to is KHC. KHC has been in a unbelievably uh, strong bull trend, pushing up through here through my alert and now pulling back just a little bit to hold on to that as support. And remember, we were away from our trend here, so that's pretty common. If we push up ahead of our trend, we oftentimes get that little resting period or pulling back period in, in that chart. Watch KHC, that possibility that that could push on through, move to the upside. Pretty nice looking chart overall. Keep a close eye on that. Um, um, another sector that you might want to take a look at is the financials. Take a look at um, XLF. Now XLF gave a really good response first thing yesterday, tomorrow morning. Um, yesterday morning, not yesterday, tomorrow morning, yesterday morning showed a really nice response on all of those financials were perking up. But doggone it, we ran into this little downtrending uh, pattern right here and we failed yesterday. However, we didn't fail so much as to break the overall trend to the upside. So if we can find some inspiration yet in these financials, we have that opportunity that this could push on through watch that closely but we also can't rule out the possibility that this could turn into a failure here we've been in a pretty strong upside move here for a long time and if we falter in here just watch that closely we could begin that little bit or support this little tiny downtrend right here and continue to move lower so watch those financials there may be some pretty decent trades in those areas um, last but not least um, a, a place that you might want to look take a look at NKLA now I have a bias here because I own this stock and it hasn't been doing all of that well. So kind of keep that in mind. But I saw a little bit of price movement coming into that yesterday, pushing back up. And I saw a little bit in NIO as well. Now NIO is still underneath this major downtrend in the chart. So some of these um, EV car manufacturers and battery, um, battery companies um, starting to show a little bit of love coming back in there. You might want to keep an eye on them. I don't think they're ready for prime time yet, but they are um, something to kind of put on your list and watch for. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to caution everyone to be a little bit careful. When the market gets dull, don't overwork trying to find a trade. Remember, when the market is dull, we have that propensity that we could either gap up big or we could gap down big. So watch that carefully. Um, over trading a dull mo market um, is, is not recommended. So be kind of careful with that. I wish you all great success today and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.